Dr. Earl Ward. Amen. And I just can't think of that church. It's right down the street. Star Bethel, yes. I think about Dr. Weaves. I get Dr. Weaves in that church. But they're here tonight to break the bread of life. Yeah. And uh, we're going to have a good time. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes. You see, I, I notice there's some come count numbers. It's not in the numbers. It's not in the quantity. It's in the quality. Dynamite comes in small packages. Yes. Amen. Amen. It's what's inside that counts. I, I remember being in England when I was in the military, and I went to a church. It was a great cathedral. Uh -huh. It was magnificent. And I went in, I was ready to have church. And I walked in there. Uh, it was uh, in, I think, it was, I think I was in London, London, England. Went to church there, the people gathered. And the Presbyterian got up and said a few words and they dismissed. I went out mad. <laughs> I was, it was cold inside. And it was cold and spirit wise. Oh, oh, Lord. It was people there. Mm -hmm. But the, the Spirit of the Lord oh, right. wasn't there. Yes, yes. I wasn't used to that. I was used to singing and shouting. Yes, yes. Yeah. You know how us is. is. <laughs> so we're going to have a good time tonight. Right. Yeah. 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 Praise the Lord. Yeah. Yeah. Now yeah. keep in mind, we're not crossed over yet. No. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. It's not day yet. It's not promised that we'll make it over. But by the grace of God, we're here tonight. It's not by our goodness. No, no, not by our righteousness. But by his grace and his loving kindness. At this time, I'm going to ask the choirs. We're going to go, go back home now. We're going to go back several generations where we had candlelight march. Amen. 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 Let's line up choirs.
bless you. The next voice that you will hear from this podium will be our moderator, president, moderator of the association, and president of the district congress, Amen. Christian Amen. education, followed by Dr. Ward. Amen. Amen. So then I'll pick up the crumbs. All right. Amen. Amen. At this time, Deacon Smith will be in charge of the testimonies, and we're going to go right on. Uh, let me spray can. All right. You may be seated, Clarence. We are here to have a great time in the Lord. Amen. It's testifying time. Amen. Those who desire to stand and testify of God's goodness, you may stand at this time. Amen. Amen. Brother Preacher, come on up to the pulpit. Amen. Yes. Amen. Amen. All right. Amen. Amen. Wonderful. More power than enough. All right. Amen. All right. Amen. Sleep it up. Amen. Before we go further, I just want to say to our visitors, it's testifying anyone can may testify of God's goodness. Yeah. So it's just not exclusive to us. Great St. John Metropolitan, but everyone that's here that desire to testify, you may at this time. Amen. 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 Uh, Sister Alicia. In obedience to God, double honor to Pastor Scott, to all of the pastors and ministers in the pulpit, to all of our visitors, to our church family, I thank God for this blessed year. Yes. Yes. I thank the Lord Amen. for bringing us through every day yes. that he allowed us to see. I thank God for helping us to just make it. Yeah. I thank God for providing for us. I thank God for every answered prayer. I thank God for every miracle that I have received. I thank the Lord for being wonderful in my life. I thank the Lord for every blessing that I have received. And I, even though we live in a challenging world, I must admit I am truly blessed. Amen. Amen. And I just thank God for every day that he allowed me to see. I thank the Lord yes, for you, yes. Reverend Scott, and for God keeping you. Yeah. Amen. I think about the churches that don't have a pastor, right. Ooh, and I yes. know we are blessed yes. here. Oh, yes. Every oh, church yes. that God has given a pastor is blessed. Yes. I thank God for this membership and yes. what God is doing for us yes. and how God is holding us, yes. keeping us. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Keep praying for me, and I'm praying for you. Amen. 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 Sister Jewel. In obedience to God and double honor to our pastor, Dr. Scott, to Dr. Ward, to Dr. Essie, and the minister on the rock. Yes. God is good, and I can thank him for bringing me another year. Yes. From January 1st, 2023 to December 31st, God is just good, and he is blessing. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. I hope you tell me when I have surgery. Yeah. I'm grateful to God for the prayers of our pastor and this church. Yeah. Because I had never been in the situation where I was, where I had to go under anesthesia for four to five hours. Yes, yes. Hours. But God was there. Mm -hmm. yes, yes, For how he kept me. And I'm grateful to see all of you tonight. God is just good. We just yeah. can't say yeah. enough. Yes. Yeah. So, so oh yes, I oh yes. I thank God for this church. Pray for me. I shall continue praying for you. Amen. Jesus is on the main line. 
Thank you. In obedience to the great God that I serve, yes. honor to you, Dr. Scott, and all the other visiting ministers here assembled. To you, my brothers and sisters in Christ, y'all, God is good. Yes, he is. Sometimes I wonder, why he's so good to me? What do I do? You know, when I was little, I used to want to experience the things that my friends experience. They all got the chicken pox. Oh, Lord. Got to stay out of school for two weeks. <laughs> they had the measles and stuff. The pass right by me. I was like, well, shoot. I sit right next to her. I, I didn't 
gave. Mm -hmm. You know, our injury got over that. <laughs> but I got into adulthood. Mm -hmm. Got married. Yeah. Had children. And um, one day, yeah. I had a brain aneurysm. Y'all know about it. Yeah. Didn't see it coming. Mm. I had headaches. Didn't know what was going on. Oh. And I didn't just have a brain aneurysm. I had the worst one you can have. Yeah, I had level five. Mm -hmm. The doctors couldn't explain it. They couldn't explain it. Well, well, we didn't do this. You're a miracle. Yeah. I said, oh, oh, okay, okay, God. Use me as a vessel. Thank you. Use me, Lord. Yeah. He brought me back. Yeah. I never would have thought that I would have suffered a brain aneurysm. Mm -hmm. But after that, I had a stroke. Wow. 2021, I had a stroke this time of the year. Wow. December 23rd. Remember MJ? I had a stroke. Couldn't get out of the bed. Mm -hmm. Couldn't control my eyes. Couldn't look to the left, couldn't look to the right. Stood up, fell to the left. Couldn't balance myself. But how long have I been standing about? Five minutes. With the brain aneurysm, I lost everything. My job, car, driving privileges. But I didn't see two cars. I've gotten two cars since that. So, you know, after that, after the brain aneurysm, after the stroke, COVID twice. I'm still here. I never thought that I would get COVID. You know, I, I had the, the immunization, got boosted, toasted, boosted, had all of them. Still caught COVID twice. But look at God. God still wants me here. So I'm not afraid of none of that stuff. And you know, this is my third service today. A lot of churches and pastors, and you know, I'm not a pastor, I ain't been called to preach, none of that. They govern how they see fit. But a lot of churches aren't having watch me because they're afraid. They're afraid of the community. I'm not. I'm just glad that somebody's having watch meeting. Yeah. Yeah. And this is my second watch meeting. All right? All right? Isn't God good? But yeah. I tell you what, as I look forward to 2024, I left that aneurysm stuff back in 2018. All right. Left All right. the stroke in 2021. All right. Left the COVID stuff back where it was. I'm leaving all that bad stuff back where it was. And I'm going to 2024 with Jesus. Yeah. With God. Yeah. They can beat all of that stuff. I'm here today. I never thought that I would bury a child. The Lord brought us through that. Yeah. Do we grieve sometimes? Yeah, sometimes. Do I wonder what she'd be like today? Yeah. Did I wonder what she looked like? Yeah. yeah. Did I want her to go? No. Uh -huh. But I dare not question God. All right. All right. I'm not going to ask him why. Because right. I know that, you know, people came and told me, I know why the Lord took that baby. He didn't want her to suffer. No, you don't know why. Don't say that to me. You don't know why he did that. I don't know and I'm not going to ask. Right. It's his business. Right. Do I go to the graveyard? No, because she's not there. Right. People say, are we going to go to the grave? No. Yeah. Now that people go to grave sites, no, that's, that's everybody's business. That's just not me. Yeah. Yeah. I trust God. Yeah. I trust in him with all my heart and I'm not going to lean to my own understanding. Yeah. All that to say, I'm just glad to be here. Yeah. All of that to say, I'm still glad to be here. And whatever he wants me to do, if he wants me to go outside and paint the house, okay, Lord, I'll paint the house. What color, Lord? Whatever he tells me to do, that's what I'm going to do. That's why I'm here. Am I a member of Great St. John Metropolitan? No. Are you my brothers and sisters in Christ? Yes. Do I care about all the other stuff? No. 
Do I love you? Yes. And ain't a thing you can do about it. Praise the Lord. Thank you. Somebody told me about her condition with that aneurysm and how close to death I went into prayer. Amen. Yes. Amen. Yes. And I'm glad God hears and answers. Yes. 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 I truly thank God for allowing us to be here um, this last night. Yes, Lord. Here. Yes, Lord. I thank God for keeping us all of our lives. I thank Amen. him for his grace, his mercy. I thank God for his loving kindness. I thank God for yes. just the encouraging um, testimony tonight. Yes. I just thank God for just being a blessing to all of us. I thank him for health and strength. I just thank God for just keeping us all this year, yes. all of our lives. Continue yes. to pray for me and I pray for you. Amen. This is the day. This is the day that the Lord has made, that the Lord Yeah. They told me all 
a great impact in all my life, but especially this year, I want to thank God for just everything that you have told me, the teachings, the preachings, just our talks together. I want to thank God for him keeping my mother, just blessing her yeah, all this yeah, year, yeah, yeah, yeah. touching yeah, her body, yeah, yeah. my grandfather, my aunt. I want to thank God for my church only pray for me, I pray for you. Yeah, Amen. Amen. Before we close, at the end of the business, we would like to testify. You may at this time. It's open to anyone. Amen. Amen. It will be to God and double honor to our pastor, Dr. Scott, to the ministers on the roster and all that is present. I'm grateful to God just to be in the house of prayer again. Yeah. Yeah. Lord, it kept me 82 years. And that's all. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. I praise his holy name. for uh, He is truly good. Yeah. 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 And, uh, we've had some trouble. We've had some ups and we've had some downs. Mm -hmm. But through it all, God has been good. Yeah. 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 I look back over my life and see where the Lord has brought me yeah. from all the way from my childhood days up until now. Yes. I never knew uh, that. I didn't even know what California was. <laughs> but look at the Lord. The Lord. Yeah. Lord has just blessed not only me, but my family. We came yeah. out here, didn't know anybody. Mm -hmm. But the Lord sustained us, and he kept us. Yeah. And here I am, some 65 years later, in California, thanking God for his many blessings. I yeah. thank God for the late Dr. Anderson. Yeah. Yeah. Where I was a, in a member of that congregation for yeah. over 35 years. Yeah. I thank God for the great St. John Metropolitan yeah. Reverend yeah. Dr. Mark Grace. Scott is pastor, yeah. been there 19 years. I just praise God. Yeah. See, God didn't have to keep me. Yeah. He didn't have to leave me here, yeah. but he did. Yeah. So I think it's my opportunity to give him some praise yeah. for what he has done and what he's going to do. Yeah. So I ask your prayers for me, and I will be praying for you. We turn you now in the hand of Sister Carol. Amen. 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 Jesus. In obedience to God, double honor to our pastor, to Dr. Estes, Dr. Ward, and the other minister, our visitors and officers, and everyone here tonight. Yeah. To God be the glory yeah. for the good, great things that he has done. Yeah. God has allowed us to see this Sunday night, yeah. Yeah. December 31st, 2023. Yeah. And we owe him the praise. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. For he, it was nothing but his grace and mercy yes. that kept us this year. Yes. He protected us all year. He provided for us all year. Yes. And we should praise his holy name. Yes. For God is good and his mercy, his mercy endures forever. Yes. First, we will have our scripture reading by Deacon Robe Botley. And the theme, the Lord hath done great things for us. Mm -hmm. Psalms 126 and 3, Deacon Edward Smith, yes. and the aim, a soft answer. Proverbs 15 and 1 by Sister Alicia Winbush. Amen. Amen. In obedience to God, I honor to you, Pastor Scott, and to the guest minister, and the rostrum to the church. Today's scripture reading comes from Psalms 1, and it reads, Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standing in the way of sinners, nor sitting in the seat of the scornful. Mm -hmm. yeah. For his delight is in the law of the Lord, mm -hmm. and in his law does he meditate day and night. And he shall be like a tree planted by the river of water, and bringing forth his fruit in his season. And his leaf shall also not wither, and whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. Yes. The ungodly are not so. Right. But they are like chaff which the wind driveth away. Yeah. Therefore the ungodly should, stand, should not stand in the judgment, right. nor sinners in the congregation of righteousness. For the Lord knoweth the way of the righteousness, right. but for the way of the ungodly shall perish. Yeah. I just read God, uh, Psalms 1, and the Lord has blessed us to read us and hear us of his holy word. Amen. God and 
double honor to our pastor, Dr. Scott, and to Reverend Dr. Willie Estes, and to Dr. Ward, and to the guest minister, to officers, and all that's present. I'm grateful to God for this opportunity well. to speak on the theme that has been given. Uh, and our theme is, the Lord has done great things for us, uh -huh. where are we are glad. Yeah. And my scripture reference is Psalm 26, 126 and 3. The Lord has done great things for us, where are we are glad. Yeah. This psalm was written out of great adoration to God for his delivering power. God has delivered his people Judah after they had been in captivity in Babylon for 70 years. But now they are free and their mouths are filled with laughter and their tongue with singing because of what God has done for them. Great St. John Metropolitan Missionary Baptist Church, we should never forget what the Lord has done for us. Over 19 years ago, when we started this fatal war, yeah. it has not always been easy right. because we've had many trials yes. along the way. Yeah. We've had some disappointments. Yes. Yeah. We've had some sickness. Yeah. We've had some sorrow. Yeah. But we stayed with the Lord yeah. during these 19 years. We had to face our challenges. Right. COVID-19, mm -hmm. loss of loved ones, yeah. Yeah. loss of jobs. Changing a resident. Yeah. But these challenges did not stop us from praising God yeah. because we remembered what the Lord had done for us. Yeah. What are some of the things that God has done for us? Well, it was the Lord who protected us when we crossed that Missouri Bridge yeah. in that monsoon rainstorm. Yeah. Yeah. It was the Lord that protected us on Interstate 5 yeah. Yeah. during that mud storm. Yeah. It was the Lord that protected Sister Adrian and others that were dry riding with her mm -hmm. during that accident on Interstate 5. Yeah. Yeah. It was the Lord who raised us up off of our beds of affliction, yeah. COVID-19. Right. It was the Lord that blessed right. us with 40 minutes to pay off $821,000 loan in right. six years and nine months. Yeah. It was the Lord yeah. who had blessed our pastor yeah. to have preached over 2,000 sermons these 19 years. Right. But great St. John, these miracles, God saved our soul. Yeah. That is the greatest miracle. Yeah. That time yeah. will not permit me to tell you of the individual miracles that we have experienced here at Great St. John Metropolitan healing of cancer, yeah. from a coma to a classroom, yeah. from high surgery, from a gunshot recovery, yeah. robbery, assault. Yeah. All of these things the Lord has done for us. Yeah. And we are not ashamed to tell anybody yeah. what our God has done for us. Yeah. God has done great things for us. Yeah. For in, we are glad.
ever want to do is get your focus off of the goodness of God in your life. Yes. And that's the better thing to do is keep a positive mind. Yes. And think about what God is doing, right. where God has brought you from. What does God want you to know? What does God want you to say? Stay focused on God so that you can be happy and have a peace of mind. Yeah. Don't let nobody take your sleep at night. Right, right, right. Arguing with people, tripping with people. You need to be able to rest. You don't want to play on your mind. You want to think about God's goodness. Yeah. Let God be your focus as you get ready to go in 2024. Yeah. I just want to read to you this scripture. St. Matthew 5 and 9. Mm -hmm. Blessed are the peacemakers. Yeah. For they shall be called the children of God. Amen. You want to know what your strength is? It's in God. Amen. You know positivity overcomes negativity. Right. Yeah. You know the love of God is stronger than what the devil put out. Yeah. Right. But if you don't let God help you and use you, you won't realize that. So stay with the Lord. Keep your mind on God. Don't argue with nobody. Be at peace with God. Be at peace with people. Yeah. And you can do that when you do what God said. Just remember, a soft answer turneth away wrath. But a grievous word, <laughs> that's what stirs up anger. That's Thank you and God bless. Amen. We want to thank Deacon Botley for the scripture. And Deacon Smith took us down memory lane. Yeah. The great things that God has done for us. Yeah. And Sister Alicia saying, don't waste your time arguing. Right, right. Don't waste the energy, but praise God. Yeah. Now we will have selections by the choirs. Our first selection, Jesus, my burden bearer, led by Sister Alicia Wimbush, followed by, I'm going to lay down my burdens, down by the riverside, led by Deacon Smith, and all to be kept by Jesus. Yeah. Amen. Amen. As assistant directors, we want to cut these songs short. I want to hear the preacher word tonight. Amen. 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 There is no burden that he can bear. Just take it to Jesus and leave.
Church, yes. Dr. Ward, our co pastor, Dr. Yoko McGee, yes. to all of you who are assembled, and we have a few of our members here. Call upon the name of the Lord. Yes. Lord. 
They began to cry. Yes. They began to beseech the Lord. Uh -huh. And the Lord told Aaron and Moses that it's time to get out of Egypt. Yes. Yes. It's time for uh, me to deliver them. Mm -hmm. And after 430 years, uh -huh. God told them, I want you to do something. Yes. I yes. want you to kill a lamb. And I want you to put the blood of the lamb on the doorpost. Yes. And when I see that lamb's blood, yes. I'll pass by. Right. Yes. Now this is the Lord is saying this is this himself. Uh -huh. He said, I'm not going to send an angel. I'm going to send uh -huh. I'm going to come myself right. 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 and deliver you. Yes. Yes. And so uh, on the night of the Passover, mm -hmm. when the Lord came through the land of Egypt, right. and he didn't see any blood. On the doorpost. Mm -hmm. Then he killed the firstborn of everything right. in that house. Yeah, that's right. In that land. Yeah. And when God did that, yes, sir. Pharaoh got up in the middle of the night yeah. and told Moses and Aaron, you get your people, uh -huh. you get your stuff, <laughs> and you get out of here. Yes. I tell you, the Lord knows how yes. to deliver. Yes. He knows how to create a way out. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Have got with this. Yeah. And, and, and I don't want to hold you too long, but, but when I look at our history, <laughs> the Jewish history and the African American history, right. it, there's so many parallels. Right. Yeah. Oh, 400 yeah. and, for 400 years, we were enslaved yeah. in this country. Right. 430 years of the Jews. And, and the, just like it took blood to deliver the children of Israel. Uh -huh. It took blood to deliver African Americans. Yes. Oh, At the Battle of Antietam in Sharpsburg, Maryland, uh -huh. that was the most deadly day in the history of the Civil War. Uh -huh. All right, so then. much blood was shed there, but it had to happen that way. Well, All right. Because it had to give Abraham Lincoln political cover uh -huh. in order that he might, amen, sign the Emancipation uh -huh. Proclamation. And we call this watch meeting night. But they call it Freedom Eve. Because they knew that on the next day they would be free because God had moved on Lincoln and the country to set our people free. And they gathered in brush harbors, they gathered in churches, they gathered in hidden places in order to watch what God would do. Yes. Is there anybody in here that know that God can do exceedingly abundantly above that if we can ask for a thing? Yes, he can. And on that yes, yes. watch meeting, freedom me. Yes. God is already <laughs> working it out. Yes. Brothers and sisters met at Temple, Tremont Temple in Boston, Massachusetts. All right, all right. And what they did but Scott, they had uh, watchmen uh -huh. all along the route of the telegraph mm. office. And uh -huh. they had men and women who would pass the news. Yes. Uh -huh. and, and as soon as Lincoln signed the Emancipation Proclamation, uh -huh. it got back to the church. Uh -huh. And they began to praise the Lord. Yes. If God delivers you, you ought to praise Him. Yeah. If God, amen, sets you free, you ought to say thank you. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know how you feel about it, but well. I'm so glad yeah. that God is a deliverer. Yeah. Yeah. I'm glad that God knows how to make a way out of nowhere. Yeah. And I'm a, a, a staunch supporter and believer that God is still making ways. Yeah. And uh, you know, it took Moses and Joshua and Aaron uh, to be in the hand of God, to be used by the Lord, a tool in his hand to help deliver the children of Israel. Yeah. And uh, on our behalf, it took, uh, yeah, Lord God, uh, Abraham Lincoln and uh, U.S. Grant, uh, amen, uh, to work on our behalf. But there is another deliverer that I want to tell you about tonight, and his name is Jesus. And I, I'm trying to tell you that uh, he's able to deliver us out of our situation. 
and no matter what condition we're in, the Lord will. And I tell you, it took blood. And because freedom is never free, and it was a constant freedom that Jesus died out of the hilltop of Calvary. And uh, they nailed his hands, and they nailed his feet. They in the sky, and out came blood and water, and he hung his head, and his shoulder died. When he died, he died until a fell in the sky, a rip from top to bottom. He died, and yes, he did. I got good news for you, he wouldn't stay dead. The years of tomb, I stayed there to the and I just Pastor Scott, I'm going to go with you 
you say. Of the Psalms 94, verse 17, mm -hmm. reading from the Message Bible. Mm -hmm. It said, if God hadn't been there for me, I never would have made it. If God hadn't been there for me, I never would have made it. Our reasoning thought for this worship experience never would have made it without the Lord. Never would have made it without the Lord. Thank you for standing. Today we are ready, uh, this is tonight, we are ready to celebrate another year. Yeah. But at a second glance, this year for some was an extremely difficult year mm -hmm. that touched our lives in many ways. All right, all right. We saw gas prices. Ooh rise yeah. to higher heights. Yeah. We saw new enemies developing in foreign lands. All right, all right. More terrorist attacks yeah. planned yeah. and money getting tighter. Yeah. Despite all of that, God saw fit to help us through. Right. Yeah. Yeah. There is very little we can do in any given year mm -hmm. that does not require God miraculous Amen. intervention Amen. for us to survive. Right. Without God's help, mm -hmm. we would not have made it. Right. Mm -hmm. Even though, even those of us who were touched by some major problems uh -huh. still made it. Yes, yes. yes. Uh -huh. God kept his word to yes, us. Yes. He said that he would never forsake never. us yeah. nor leave us alone. Yeah. Right. All right. The fact right. is that the grace of God yeah. surrounded <laughs> and strengthened us this year. Yeah. Yeah. God's grace made someone by our side yeah. Yeah. in a time of trouble. Uh, it helped us. Uh -huh. The yeah. grace of God caused a full plate uh -huh. to be placed on our table. When we hunger, and it was the grace of God yeah. that placed us in the hands of the right doctor, yeah. the right teacher, the right coach yeah. and mentor. Yeah. It wasn't luck, my brothers and sisters, no, 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 no. but it was the grace yes. of God. Yeah. As Christian, as we approach yeah. the new year with new hope and, and enthusiasm, yeah. we are enthusiastic because when we look back, Right. We see how God helped us. Yeah. We know that since God helped us this year, yeah. he will do the same again yeah. in the year yeah. to come. Yeah. Yeah. All glory to God. Our text for this worship experience uh, of, of, of the 94 songs is a unique song mm -hmm. that focuses on Israel praise to God during their wilderness journey. Yes. Yeah. Generally, David is noted as the principal writer of the song, yes. but not all of the songs were written by David. Yes. David wrote 73 of the 150 songs. That's right. 50 songs were anonymous. Moses wrote the 90th song. Yes. The 7th, seven, the seven second, and the 127th song were written by Solomon. That's right. Some were written by Asaph, yes. and others by the son of Korah. Psalms 90 to 94 were written during Israel's 40 year wilderness journey. Yeah. Yeah. During this time, they were attacked by Pharaoh's army, uh -huh. right. which the Lord destroyed in the Red Sea. Yeah. Yeah. Because of their unwillingness to follow God's direction given to them through Moses, they wandered around in circles in the desert for 40 years. Yeah. Yeah. Often they demonstrated a foolish nature of ignoring God's direction, bringing trouble upon them. Yeah. Yet God provided for them. Yeah. When they were to the point of thirsting to death, yeah. God provided water from them from a rock. Yeah. When they had no food, 
God provided bread from heaven that appeared on the ground every day for 40 years. When he had no meat, huge flocks of quail appeared every day. Their clothes did not wear out. They never had to change shoes. Psalm 94 describes the period of Israel's national life when it had reached a point of giving up completely. They could not get it together. No. The land of promise was so close, but they simply could not make themselves reach out and grab the promise. Right. 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 They constantly fell into faithlessness, yeah. sometimes idolatry and wickedness right. yeah. that caused them considerable trouble. Yes. This song looks back over the distance travel and realized that God chastised Israel for his wayward ways, yeah. but never stopped loving them. Psalm 94, verse 12, uses the word chasten uh -huh. to describe their experience. Yeah. To be chastised is to be taught a lesson or to be trained. Uh -huh. The object of chastisement is that the student will arrive wiser and stronger, right. having learned an important lesson. Yeah. Yeah. In the wilderness, Israel was certainly chastised. Yeah. They learned through their suffering that they should be obedient to God and trust Him wholly. Yeah. Right. They also right. learned that God would not allow those who wronged them to escape without punishment. Right. Verse 13 notes that a pit is being dug for the wicked who trouble God's people yeah. during their chastisement. Yeah. Right. The song raises the question who stood up? For me, uh -huh. against the wicked. All right. Who took my side against evil workers? Uh -huh. The answer came in verse 17. If God had not been there for me, I never would have made it. Through that faith in him, Israel made it through the wilderness and marched it to the promised land. Stronger, wiser, and better uh, than he had been in the wilderness. Oh, yeah. When they look back, yeah. on, my Lord. when they look back, uh, they concluded we never would have made it right. without the Lord. All right. yeah. Brothers and sisters, like years rolled, now we stand on the threshold of a new experience. Uh -huh. When we look back, we can see what God has brought us through. Yeah. Yeah. Right, right. When years rolled, began their journey. They were attacked by Pharaoh who tried to enslave them, yeah. re-enslave them. Uh -huh. God buried the entire army of Egypt yes, in the did. Red Sea. Yes, and when we look back, uh -huh. we can see the many ways that God had protected us from those who would do us harm. Right. Sometimes those who oh, threatened us Lord, were Lord. outside of our family. But sometimes our worst enemies were family members, too. This, this year, many wrestled with problems that were caused by their enemies, whether it was on the job or in relationships, or academic or professional pursuit. Despite the tricks, plans, and plots of the devil, we survived. Not because of our cunning, but because the Lord covered our David said, if it had not been for the Lord, who yeah, yeah, was yeah, on our side, yeah, when yeah. men rose up against us, yeah. then they had swallowed us up quick yeah. right. when their wrath was kindled against us. Yeah. My brothers and sisters, we survived this year because God had something better yeah. in store for us. Yeah. There is a promised land waiting us. It has been promised. Yeah. Right. Right. Looking back, we are happy because we know that we did not have the strength yeah. no. to protect ourselves yeah. from the devil. Right. But God was there. Yeah. In our time of trouble, uh -huh. God was our help. Yeah. Psalm 146 5 said, Happy is he has the God of Jacob for his help, yeah. whose help is in the Lord his God. All yeah. right. In the wilderness, Israel ate every day. And people are still trying to figure out where the food came from. They clothes, uh, they clothes they had never wore out. And people are still trying to figure that out too. 
in the same way God has provided us. Yeah. This year, things were terrible. Uh -huh. Gas prices went up. Uh -huh. Electric bills went up. Yeah. People were laid off from their jobs. Uh -huh. Some lost their houses, the plant clothing. Yet God led us through the yeah. wilderness and kept food on our table uh -huh. and clothes uh -huh. on our back. Yeah. Yeah. People are still trying to figure out uh -huh. it means that God provides our needs. Yeah. 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 419 put us this way, but my God, my God. shall supply all your needs yeah. according to his riches and glory by yeah. Christ Jesus. Yeah. Yes. Brothers and sisters, no matter what came up this year, uh -huh. God provided just what we needed yeah. when we needed it. No one of the songwriter declared we are our heavenly father's children. Yeah. And he knows, yes, he knows yeah. just how much we can bear. Yeah. Yeah. This year, God provided us with what we needed yeah. and disallowed any burden that we could not bear. Yeah. If it were not for yeah. his provision, yeah. we would not have made it. Yeah. Israel, Israel made several foolish decisions. Yeah in their willingness journey. Yeah. Uh -huh. Once they decided to abandon God altogether uh -huh. and build them a golden calf to worship. Yeah. Yet, despite their foolishness, yeah. uh -huh. God saved them from themselves. Yeah. He had to do the same for us today. Yeah. Save us from yeah. ourselves. Yeah. Yeah. My brothers and sisters, yeah. when we do the opposite of what God wants while claiming to be his children. Uh, it is foolishness. Yeah. We have done some foolish things. Yes. Some of us have gambled heavily this year, knowing full well that it was not wise. Right. But we were drawn by the parlors of casino that allowed us to win a few. Uh -huh. It was foolish for us to get involved romantically in relationships that were going nowhere. Right. But we did it and caused ourselves great pain. Some were foolish to swallow with their wives and husbands and threaten their marriages and family. Some of the business decisions we made uh, were wrong and we paid the price for it. Yet in all of our foolishness, God never abandoned us. He did not embrace our foolishness, but God punished us for our good, but he never gave up on us. This year, Preach, God Preach. saved many of us, even yeah. though we acted very foolishly. Right. Without his mercy and grace, yeah. we would not have yeah. made it through. Yeah. 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 Finally, brothers and sisters, we must consider that we made it this year yeah. only by the grace yeah. of God. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. it will be his grace yeah. that will see us through the year ahead. Yeah. Yeah. The grace of God looks down on us in our midst uh -huh. and continues to bless us. Yeah. The grace of God showers opportunities upon us yeah. even though we do not deserve yeah. it. Right. Brothers and sisters, God is not foolish. No. He is not naive. No. There's a reason why he continues to bless sinful people like us. Uh -huh. His grace has a divine purpose. Yeah. Right. We made it through the trouble and trials of this year uh -huh. because there is a divine plan at work. Yeah. Right. Those who know the Lord have arisen from this year's struggle stronger, wiser, and better. Yeah. Yeah. That might have been a divine plan in yeah. the first place. Uh -huh. We should have learned to trust God more yeah. and lean not unto our own oh, understanding. Right. Yeah. Yeah. We should have learned to pray yeah. before we act and to seek God yeah. with us. We should have learned yeah. that in our weakest hour, yeah. God can make us strong. Yeah. We made it this year, my brothers and sisters, but it was not luck. It was the hand of God nudging yeah. us in the right direction. Yeah. Now facing a new year, we are stronger, wiser, yeah. and better. Yeah. Now having overcome the slippery slopes we came upon this year, we are better prepared yeah. to serve God to the fullness to the year that is coming. Yeah. Now facing a new year, we should be encouraged to know that the same God who saw us through this year is still on 
the throne. And we made it because God heard our prayers in the midnight hour. We made it because God lifted us up when we fell down. We made it because God gave us strength and our burdens became heavy. He gave us assurance when everything seemed to go wrong. He gave us inspiration when difficult times came. Because he gave us comfort when disaster struck. And as I come to a close, my brothers and sisters, I don't know what the future holds. All right, all right. But I know that if God favors us, yeah. we can have joy yeah. despite our sorrow. Yeah. We can have peace yeah. despite our problems. Yeah. We can have contentment in spite of our burden. All right. We can have assurance in spite of our frustration. Right. We can have comfort in the midst of our pain. Right. We can have victory in the midst of our defeat. Right. Brothers and sisters, I never would have made it right. if he had not decided to pick up an old rugged cross on one Friday. Right. On that Friday they let Jesus on the, through the streets of Jerusalem to a hill called Calvary where they hung him high and stretched him wide. Jesus died on that Friday. He was buried in a borrowed tomb. But early on the third day, early Sunday morning, Jesus arose from the dead with all power in his hand. Yeah. 
and the other parts is for the we are weak in flesh, but what I want to use tonight is just watch. And we go back, uh, Dr. Estes touched upon it, uh, he thought he was going to, I was going to say amen, let's chance, let's stand and dismiss. Let's go back 160 years. On December the 31st, 1862, as he forestated, blacks, African descents, uh, Negroes were from coast to coast in prayer in great anticipation yes. mm -hmm. because Abraham, President Abraham Lincoln on September the 22nd had signed the preliminary Emancipation Proclamation yes. Yes. to free all slaves. But it would it wouldn't come it wouldn't be activated mm -hmm. until January the first mm -hmm. right, right. on eighteen sixty-three. Mm -hmm. The great anticipation of watching mm -hmm. across this country All right. as we look forward 160 years now that anticipation of prayer and looking to God in what he was going to do for us as a enslaved people is no longer the fruition. Oh, my Lord, my Lord. It's now among us mostly party time. Right. 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 Come on. Mm -hmm. On January the 1st, 1863, guide him, Lord, guide him. was Freedom Day. Right. was a jubilant day, but watching and praying in the black community, yeah. in the Negro community, had to continue mm -hmm. because the confrontation of Jim Crowism well, well. Yeah. Lasted for 91 years my Lord, my Lord. to 1954, my where the Brown versus the Board of Education mm -hmm. was passed and overseen by Thurgood Supreme Court yeah. Thurgood Marshall. Yeah. In the meanwhile, mm -hmm. prayer and fasting saw even though many of our Negroid brothers and sisters, even my ancestors, who were continued hung, mm -hmm. mistreated, yes. oh, Lord, oh, Lord. when whites walked down the street, mm -hmm. they had to get off the sidewalk. Yes. Yes. We continue to watch and pray yeah, yes. while we educated ourselves mm -hmm. to become independent mm -hmm. economically right. in the uh, uh, state of Oklahoma and right. across this nation. Uh -huh. 
which we became called Black Wall Street. Yes. All right, all right. Yes. Uh, of course, you know what took place mm -hmm. uh, when being bombed. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Lord, yes. yes. Citizens being bombed, which had never happened right. in the history of a nation. All right. Now, let me go back to Texas, mm -hmm. where my ancestors were. Uh, all right, all right. My great, great grandparents didn't get the news well, well, that they were free right, yeah. right. until what they call Juneteenth, right, right. 1863. Then uh, we have continued watching and praying. Yes. It's amazing how the black churches and the Negroes continue to go to church, right. whether they were Methodist or Baptist. Right. Churches were filled. Yeah. Oh yeah, yes. Watching and praying yes. because of the great struggle mm -hmm. of racism, yes. segregation. Uh -huh. it, it played a tremendous burden yes. upon black folk across this country. Yes. So yes. much so until we knew how to treat one another from city to city. Yeah. Yeah. I know this for a fact. All right. And uh, 91 years later, the Brown versus the Board of Education mm -hmm. Act overturned the Plessy yeah. versus Ferguson, 1896. Yeah. All right. Separate but equal. Separate but equal. Oh, we were watching and praying. Right, right. Conditions made us watch and pray. Right, right. You're right. We were closer together as a people. Uh -huh. yeah. Yeah. Yes. We, we, we looked out after one another. Right. Yeah. Yeah. right. I remember going to Texas where my people lived in Waco, Texas, and Axel, Texas, etc. When I was a little boy, Grandma used to take, she was superintendent of the Methodist uh, Sunday school at that time. We would catch the bus, and me being from St. Louis, we would, we would be able to ride in front of the, uh, yeah, yeah. with the conductor almost, the bus driver. When I got on the bus and I sat near the bus driver, she said, boy, come back here, come on. Yeah. Uh -huh. I can't sit back. And I said, why, Grandma, there's nobody here. <laughs> nobody on the bus but us on that right, Sunday. Right. And we had to go to the back of the bus. Right, right. That kept us watching and yeah, praying. Right. God knows how yeah. to keep a people yeah. watching yeah, yeah. and praying. Yeah. My Lord, my Lord. Uh, I remember one uh, visitation when we, my father and I, was at the train station in Waco, Texas. Mm -hmm. And there was a hamburger place across mm -hmm. the way. Mm -hmm. After looking in the little station at Waco, had colored here. For toilets and white here. They, below that, they had a colored fountain and a white fountain. Yes, You're right. And I was in the process of going into the white mm -hmm. restroom. And Grandma said, You can't go in there. I said, Why, Grandma? Mm -hmm. And this particular time, my father. And I were going across the way into this restaurant to get cheeseburgers. Mm -hmm. We walked into the front part of that 
uh, restaurant, hamburger restaurant, and the man say, niggas are not served in here. You got to go in the side. Oh, my God. Yep, yep. humble way because he was outnumbered. Mm -hmm. yeah. I was so mad I didn't even get a hamburger. <laughs> Just to show you how I was struggle. Uh -huh. Come on, come on. Even though it was negative, uh -huh. yeah. made us strong people yeah. that have given us something that other nations don't have. Right. The struggle that we have gone through yes. watching and praying yes. have given us uh, what they call in our m uh, music, in our sports, is called soul. We are a people that are like the Jews. We're blessed. Yeah. 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 We're just like the Jews. Rebellious. Yeah. All right. Just like the Jews. We left God. We leave right. God. Right. Look at us now. All right. Oh, my Lord. My Lord. Help us, God. Help us. 75% in 1954, and I could be off, of the black community went to church, yes, opposed to 40 plus 40% now, if that much. What does it take again? Does it take? Oh Lord. Mercy, mercy. Another hardship. As I come to the close of this message. Guide him, Lord. Guide him. Great St. John. Amen. I want to say. I thank God for Dr. Anderson, Amen. Yeah, yeah. who continued mm -hmm. with that spirit that was in 1862. Yeah. Every December the 31st, we had watch meeting. Right, right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He carried that spirit. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That was in 1862 each year. Right. I remember, I remember, and I, let me just say this. I remember sitting in his office and he said, I remember when uh, my sister, I think it was, um, which sister was it? I forget which sister it was. Uh, huh? Roxy. 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 They were running for their life right. when being shot at and hung in or down um, um, in Black in, uh, in Tulsa, Black Wall Street. I forget the Elwood is it? Uh, I forget the name of the street, the main street. He said, "I remember she was holding my hand and we was running for our life." They were terrorizing. Mm. They hung blacks that had served in the military. Yeah, yeah. But that didn't stop us no one did. No one did. from watching and praying. Yes. We continued to watch and pray yes. as God continued to help us. Yes. Yes. We became the number one nation industrial-wise, because we watched and prayed. Right. I'm talking about this nation. We helped this nation yes. to become yes, the number did. one nation industrial-wise. Yes. Right. yes, we did. The 1900s. I'm telling you how God has used us, yes. even during slavery, even during Jim Crowism, yes. even right. during the time of being separated. Yes. It pushed us to become an era of negritude, of great artists, uh -huh. and music, yeah. and etc. Right. Right. God have done marvelous things yes, for us. Yeah. Yeah. Even through oppression, but we watched and prayed. Yeah. We depended on the Lord. Yeah. Yeah. Great St. John, we not crossed, we haven't crossed over yet. No, no, no. no. 
But I just want to commend you. I want to commend you. All right. All right. From last December mm -hmm. the 31st, yes. we have been watching and praying yes. for 52 Sundays. All right. Yes. yes. Teaching in Sunday school. Yes. Right. Yes. 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 Avoiding. God is helping us to stay away from temptation. All right. All right. Temptation to leave the church. We've been watching and praying. Yes. Right. And Baptist training union. Yes. Teaching us how to utilize the spiritual tool. Yes. Fretting not thyself yes. because of evil doers. Yes. Neither being thou envious because of workers of iniquity. For they shall soon be cut down. We've been watching and praying. For 52 Sundays, preaching and teaching. Yes. We've been watching and praying. We've been singing God's songs. Right. Amen. All of this is strengthening to your spiritual life. Yes. 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 Amen. God has brought us. Yes. 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 The only way that you can be strong in the Lord yes. is to continue to read your Bible. Right. Yes. And pray. Yeah. Continue to stay in Bible study right. on Wednesday night. Yeah. Continue to stay in Sunday school. Yeah. 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 The Lord told Peter, the devil desires to have you. Uh -huh. yeah. The only way that the devil can uh, get you mm -hmm. is for you to stop watching all right. All right. and stop praying. All right. All right. Amen. All right. The only way that you can yield to temptation yeah. is to stop watching and praying. Yeah. Yeah. God has brought us from a mighty long yeah. way yeah. in watching and praying. Yeah. Yeah. I heard you talk about history, Deacon Smith. Yes, he did. He yeah. brought us he brought us over the hump yeah. out of our Red Sea of $821,000 in six years and nine months because we watched and prayed. Yeah. Yeah. When we were in that courtroom of $290,000, we watched and prayed and saw the judge just throw the case out. God does great things. For his people. Yeah. Yeah. You have to try to fight back. No. Just watch and pray. Yeah. Yeah. That you enter not into temptation. Yeah. Now when you stop watching and praying. You go to sleep. Uh -huh. yeah. 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 The disciples. Yeah. Went to sleep on Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. It seems like the black community. Now is sleep. Yeah. All right. All right. Because we now. Can yeah. sleep in white hotels. Yeah. We now can eat in white hotels. In white restaurants. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Seems like we've gotten away from our Jesus. Yeah. My grandmother, my grandmother, uh, and I'm closing now. I'll pick this up in the Lord's will. My grandmother in Texas, she had a black Jesus. Hanging over the bed. We only had, she only had two rooms. Uh -huh. yeah. One where everybody slept. I never slept in the bed. <laughs> Children slept on the floor. Yeah. We had pallets. Yeah. 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 So y'all don't know about that. Y'all got yeah. beds. Y'all yeah. yeah. got beds and bumps. So what have y'all got? But we, I had to sleep. We had to sleep on the floor. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. 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 And over the bed there was a black Jesus. All right. Next to it was Doris Miller. Some of you don't know about Doris Miller. You remember in 1941 when the Japanese attacked Pearl Harbor. Yeah. He was the black one who shot down yeah. planes. 
he never had any course on shooting, but he shot him down. He must have shooting rabbits. Oh, say no. pigeons, huh? <laughs> and I said, Grandma, Jesus is white. She said, mm-mm. She said, um, let's go to Revelations. And let's read Revelations where he's described with woolly hair and his legs like polished brass. Now what color is that group, son? It doesn't matter. What color? All I go is by the Bible. But one thing about it, he's our deliverer. That's who I watch and pray. I pray and watch it with Jesus. I'm done, I'm done. Give me that old time religion. Give me that old time religion. Give me that old time religion. Lord, it's good enough for me. The doors of the church is open. slow down to about 60. I said, wait a minute now. I shouldn't have to drive this slow. I'm going to be late. 
get into the house of worship. This time last year, I was sick. I had RSV. I had gone through a pretty tough year of sickness. But I can testify, I never let sickness be my enemy. I cut the sickness with Jesus. And I thank God for this opportunity to stand here. I am a part of New Stranger's Home, working with Dr. Willie Estes. Amen. And we are grateful to be able to come somewhere, somewhere to worship the Lord. Mama said, boy, whatever you're doing when the new year come in, you'll be doing it all year. That's what Mama said. And I never let it go. Now, when I missed last year, I was worried. But thank God. Yeah. I made it. Yeah. I made it. Yeah. To Dr. Scott, yes, thank sir. you for allowing me to say a word. Appreciate yeah. you, sir. I haven't seen you in a while. You, you remember I talked to you later about when we okay. had that talk. It's been, been about 10 or 12 years ago. Oh. Maybe a little longer than that. Right. And when you were getting ready to, you were in another spot at that time. Right. But thank God that we're finally coming back together. Yeah. Did we hear a word from God tonight? Yeah. 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 Dr. Essie and Dr. Ward yeah. have blessed our hearts and my heart is filled. So I thank God for this opportunity. Amen. God bless you. Amen. May God continue doing the work that he's doing. Mm -hmm. When I hear you saying that you paid off $800,000, I want to run and shout, how come we can't do that? <laughs> but God knows. Yeah. 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 It's $821,000. Yeah. Forty people. Yeah. God can do yeah. the impossible. Yeah. 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 Again, I want to thank Pastor Scott for inviting myself and Dr. Estee. I listened to the young lady testimony. You know, I suffered with COVID-19 twice. And I had it last month. I only preached twice in the last seven weeks. So God is good. I never would have made it without the Lord. Thank you so much, Dr. Scott. We always have a, a spiritual experience when we come to Great St. John Metropolitan Church. Uh, you're so special, and you have a unique leadership. And the way you all follow Dr. Scott is the way that all pastors <laughs> wish that church would follow them. So don't don't ever stop doing what you're doing because you continue to be a role model. You continue to be somebody that we can, that we have challenged to do exactly what you're doing. So thank you so much, Dr. Scott, for allowing us to come and say a word on behalf of our Christ. Amen. And we expect to see you in Modesto Amen. second Saturday in January. Amen. Amen. And so uh, keep us on your prayer list. Yeah. Pray for my wife, yeah. pray for my family, and pray for the responsibilities that the Lord has placed on us. Yeah. And I guarantee you that the Lord is the way out. At this time, we're going to uh, receive our tithes and offerings. Peter Smith, we yeah. don't have those names. I want those names of those who want prayer and those who join today. Yeah. We went out today, and as we know, you we fed those that homeless. We did it last week, and we did it this week. Yeah. Some join. Join. Six for where's the, oh, the total list? I'm talking.
about the total, is this the total or the tip? Oh, tip, tip, tip. I'm not just talking about the day, I'm talking about total. They, need, they want prayer too. Yeah, man. 